So I wanted to make a really quick video on the auto harvest feature on VFAT. Did see some questions in YouTube. By the way, this channel is literally for you. Any questions you have, leave them in the comments and we'll probably create content around it. So don't be shy. Plus this YouTube channel doesn't grow without your support. So all I ask is if these videos are helpful, share it with your DeFi buds, share it with someone who could learn from it. Let's spread the word of crypto and DeFi. That's why I don't mind doing this stuff for free because I'm like the more people who know about this stuff and are building financial freedom through the power of DeFi and the more users there are, the better for everyone. So that's my only cost of admission. These videos will always be free. We don't monetize the YouTube channel. I don't place ads mid channel or any ads on the channel. I want you to win. I want your friends to win and I want the whole space to win. So we're trying to create the best YouTube channel for this stuff with the highest level information. So again, uh, do share it and let me know if you have any questions below. Let's get into it. But you know me, I like to build six-figure portfolios. That's kind of like my thing. And I want multiple six-figure portfolios. Would love to get into the seven figures of DeFi income. I'm not there yet, but that would be pretty sick. That would definitely fund my lifestyle completely. So on VFAT, I took advantage of the market corrections over the last week and got into some ETH positions. And I want to be transparent. This OVN USD Plus is house money. We got into OVN before it pumped, got our initial back, and now this has all been house money. So I would consider this higher risk, but it's house money. I do set wider ranges than most, but the APRs right now are ridiculous. Do I expect them to stay that high? No, they should drop a bit, but I'll keep funding this portfolio and basically keeping it above 100K a year or you know, 10,000 a month or whatever. Uh, Beefy did the same thing, went heavy into BTC when it corrected and heavy into some other uh, big caps into blue chips and built kind of a six figure portfolio fluctuates between seven to $10,000 a month, depending what the yields are doing. And that's pretty much, pretty much on autopilot as well. By the way, if you are in the UIG or if you join us in the UIG 4.0 is rolling out in the next week, week and a half, it should fully be updated, but we're keeping the portfolio review section. And this is massive value in here. Take 10 minutes out of your day and go through some portfolios. People are earning everywhere from, you know, 32 bucks a day, a couple thousand a month to uh, 5,000 a month. I saw someone else post their portfolio. They were doing 11,000 a month. Here they're doing $5,200 a month. You'll see all their positions, what they have invested, what the value is. True APRs, not what VFAT or Beefy or Uniswap is giving you. True APRs based on data that they're collecting. So this, there's so much value in here. Go through it for 10 minutes and you'll have ideas for your next positions. VFAT, auto harvesting. So as you can see here, I got $101 earned. Uh, this harvested for me this morning. If I actually go onto here, you can see I received uh, $50 at, uh, I, I received a hundred bucks just a few minutes apart from VFAT. Uh, then yesterday collected some, whatever, whatever, you get the point. So that's, I'm auto harvesting into USDC and I really want you to hear this message. Let me know in the comments if this lands. I could go in here and just harvest uh, this $46. I could click here, I could go harvest and I could say I wanna, I wanna receive it in ETH or USDC or whatever I wanna receive it in. I like receiving in stablecoin because I take that stablecoin and I lend it out. So I'm sitting on my profits, I lend out those profits just so I have a bank account to bankroll market corrections. And so my plan here is Every single day, whatever this is earning me, probably around 300 bucks, 365, I take $365 into stablecoin and I lend it. I'm doing around 12% on extra fi right now. And I'll keep doing that. So at the end of the week, I'll have 3,000. At the end of the month, I'll have 10,000. Whatever, you get the point. Doing the same with every other yield farm, everything else that's producing income. We call that yield on yield. I'm earning yield here. Please let me know in the comments if this lands and if you want a video on yield on yield. I take yield here, I lend it out here, that's growing. Money, making money, making money. And when the market's correct, I'm sitting on fat profits that I can redeploy. And so on VFAT, you can actually go here and you can set up your auto harvest settings. As you can see, I have it set. Look at how much this jumps around depending what the markets are doing, that's fun. But as you can see here, I have it set USDC and it auto harvests for me. Now remember, you are paying a fee. So there is a part of me that as, I, as this portfolio grows bigger, I may turn auto harvest off and just at the end of the day or maybe every couple days be able to harvest and grab my USDC. For now, I'm fine with the auto harvest and I don't mind paying fees for workers, 
to do stuff for me, which is basically what you're doing here. Your money is making you money, your money's working for you, and automations are working for you. Yes, you're gonna spend a little bit on it, but what's your time worth? You've gotta make that decision on your own. And, and I stack the stable and I rinse and repeat, redeploy. I do this with my bull run bag. When I hit certain ladder outs, I take profit, stable coin, and I sit on it. And that's why when market corrections happen and things dump 20, 25%, I'm happy about it. I'm in pools that are mostly blue chip that I'd hold long term. So if my, my overall DeFi portfolio loses value, I don't really care because I'm holding it long term anyway, as long as I'm earning fees. And then I have fat profits over here that I could redeploy, grab coins and tokens at discount and be able to ride them back up, take profit, rinse and repeat. And this over time builds wealth. Remember, patience, time builds wealth. And a lot of people are trying to get rich quick. Now you can get rich in DeFi in a year, which is very quick compared to traditional markets, but most people will like what? One or two years or wait for a full cycle, three, four years to get rich, to get wealthy. I'm like, that's a very short period of time in an 80 year lifespan. It's a perspective shift for many people. Anywho, wanted to drop that your way. If you want a video on yield on yield, if you have any questions, if you want me to dive into basically anything, our team manages seven figure portfolios for over 50 clients. We also have 1500 members that we're helping. We see their portfolios. We have a very good behind the scenes look at pretty much anything you can think of in DeFi. And I'm going to start bringing team members onto YouTube to be able to answer questions where they have experience where I may not. Our team is extremely knowledgeable. And again, they manage seven figure portfolios for our clients and help build them. We see a lot on a daily, weekly basis, and we have a very vast range of knowledge. Any blockchain you can think of, any decks, any strategy, any advanced strategy, all the way to the beginner stuff, we can bring team on to help support and create content around it. So any questions you have, hit me with them. With that said, like this video, subscribe. All I ask is that you share this with a few people. Let's grow this YouTube channel to 100K subscribers. We do have plans for when we do that. We will be able to attract early stage projects and bring them to you. So you can be an early investor in some really awesome stuff. And that's really the purpose of this YouTube channel. So with that said, I'm going to let you go again. Like, subscribe, check out some other videos. I'll put them on the screen here and we'll talk soon. Peace.